she left her voicemail. I never wanted to call her. I'm already teased your car, busted your tail like and flattened your tires. <laughs> I admit it was childish. Yes, but it's occurred to me that you just haven't been hearing me lately. Do you hear me now? Good. <laughs> Good. But are you listening? Because this entire poem is about listening. And when it comes to doing it effectively, you and I respectively just can't seem to do it correctly. Instead, we prefer miscommunicating. We misunderstand the implications of misrepresenting the truth. I mistake you for being honest. You misinterpret my silence as agreement. Then I accuse you of being misleading. Then you, you run off and massage your ego. And now, I'm missing you. Like voice stream. Because you became T-Mobile and printed after a single oh. day on New Horizon. I mean Horizon. Oh and I know I'm not the first, so please, let me be the next to tell you I don't get your signal. Because you send mixed messages. And I try reading between the lines, but honestly, I think your wires are crossed. Or maybe. Just maybe, we're really a bad connection, which is weird, because when we met, we seemed to speak the same language, but now the original context is lost in translation. I find myself desperate to dissect your dialect, hoping that maybe if I collect enough sentiment, you might change your mind and call me, baby. This entire situation is taking a toll on me, and I think it's time I reverse the charges so you pay me some attention and set my mind at ease. Honestly, I'm tired of playing telephone, and I think it's time I chat with you face to face in a private room where only I your mom can't even hear. Fear not, your secrets are safe with me. We could be the perfect combination if you just listen to the clicks in my heartbeat. It's talking to you. My soul talking to you. I am talking to you. If you would just listen. Reply requested. Love, Charlotte.